It was just for a bomb site, guys. This is actually my work area. Um, I'm totally redesigning it because the way I had it laid out was just not fit for purpose. Um, especially with the, the fencing business that I'm now running pretty much full time. So one of the main considerations, I want the concern or issue that I had was the, the miter saw. Just excuse this mess here. But what I've decided to do, I'm going to make a miter station on this back wall. I've got the DeWalt DWS 780. So the issue with this saw, when space is at a premium, there's obviously the rail system at the back. So that's the saw fully extended. Now to get a miter station here, it would be, you know, it would take up, you know, far too much of the workshop. So what I've decided to do through careful consideration is replace the DeWalt saw, which I absolutely love, with the Makita uh, 12 inch miter saw. Which has got the forward rail system and you can get it closer to the wall. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm building Basically a modular miter saw station. So there'll be two modules exactly the same. Here's one here, excuse the mess. This is just the basic framework. I'm in the process of building the second one, which will obviously go to the other side. And then once I get the new saw, you know, I'll lower the level here, sit the saw in here so it's totally level. That way it's gonna give me a neat miter saw station, which can just stay there permanently. Instead of having to drag out the miter saw stand and the miter saw, it's just, it's been a real issue for me. So as I said, I'm going to build two modules. There's one pretty much built already. Obviously it has to have the top put on it. So I'm building the next one here. Just a very simple frame made out of four by two. I'll be using a pocket hole jig by Craig just to join these together. Um, so I'll use pocket screws, get it all, you know, it just gives you a nice, you know, a squarer finish, flush finish. Okay, as I said, I'm going to use pocket holes to join these pieces of timber here. So I'll show you how I'm doing that now. Okay, so this is the Craig jig I'm using. So all you do with this, clamp it on. Just get it roughly spaced, I'm not too concerned. Um, just use a wee clamp like that. In the Craig kit you get a special drill bit. That's that drilled. Move the Craig over, clamp it again. That gives you your pocket holes. Okay, so in the Craig kit you get this special uh, driver, which is a square headed driver. And you also get special Craig screws. Basically they just fit into the pocket hole and the timber screw together. So, in like that, get everything flush and just a quick It's important not to over tighten, especially when using an impact driver um, I just usually screw it in until I hear some resistance There's the resistance Stop, that's it It's worth mentioning, this clamp like this is just a standard spring clamp it's absolutely ideal for this little jig as opposed to you know messing about with bigger clamps this is perfect and it's quick you know place your jig on there clamp it on that's it that's done ready to drill there's the resistance so we'll stop at that Right guys, so I've built one end, I've just put the, this is the side pieces, they're all secured on. So what I'll do now is take this away, lay this part flat and flip this over and lay it on top and then secure all the legs on the other side. That's the easiest way to do it. That's this part just stood on top of the, the parts lined for it's not secured yet. All I'll do is line up the edges, line up the lines, the corners, obviously, screw them all in place. Right guys, so that's that module made, that's this module made, 
So we've got one for either side, so I'll put that in position now and then I need to wait to get my saw now and we'll get the height set properly. Hopes to get the tops on. Uh, right guys, I didn't film doing the tops. There's nothing exciting there, I just cut the, the tops to size of my track saw. Put them in place, screwed them on top. Um, with the, the base for the saw here, again I didn't film it, it's basically just a square frame. Uh, made in the same way as I made the, the modules here. Pocket hole jig, screwed them together and then screwed to the main frame. And that's just obviously slightly lower for the for the saw to sit flush with the, the two modules. Uh, I'm just in the process now. You can see it's fairly it's fairly level at the moment. Uh, my floor is fairly level anyway, so I didn't need to put any adjustable feet or anything on. But you can do that. You can get adjustable feet for your benches just to raise them up and down, just to get it level. Especially if your floor is sloping, you know. Uh, but in my case, I didn't need to do that. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, the only thing I'm not happy with at the moment is the saw is sitting just too low. I don't know if you can see the gap through there. It's just sitting a little bit too low, so I need to raise it about five millimetres, just so it's sitting slightly proud of the, the bench tops. So what I'll do, I'll just use shims. Uh, put a couple of shims under the base, raise the saw up slightly, and that'll sort that problem. So that's pretty much my setup. Um, probably about £100 in materials. Uh, one thing I need to mention about the ply, uh, a local supplier to me, I ordered 18 mil thick hardwood ply, and um, they actually delivered 12 millimetre thick, so I've had to double this up, um, just to get the, a bit more support. I've actually put a couple of supports under, just, this is underneath the saw, this is the platform that the saw is sitting on. So I've just put a couple of braces in there, and they, they actually line up, you know, with the feet of the saw. So the saw is screwed directly into those braces. Okay, so the way I've designed the base, I've basically made it large enough so you know, so I can, uh, you know, use the, the full mitre capacity on the saw. Uh, the Makita saw has got a 60 degree capacity. Uh, whereas the DeWalt, I think it's just over 45. I'm not, I'm not too sure. So one consideration, I did have to... I mean, there's 60 degrees there, so... I've just given it plenty of room. Okay, so the dust extraction I'm using for this saw is the Fest Tool. This is the Fest Tool CTL MIDI. Um, this is a great thing. It's, this is the miter saw cord, which is plugged into the vacuum. Yeah, so whenever you go to switch the, or cut with the saw, the vacuum automatically kick, kicks in. And then it runs for, you know, two or three seconds afterwards as well. I've just taken the hose up through, up through the base. That's uh, plenty flexible enough for for the saw. Yeah, so as I explained at the start of the video, um, I gave you a run through with my with DeWalt chop saw. But the, the Makita, the design, as you can see, it's pretty much hard, hard against the wall there. And with the forward rails, You know, so this footprint here is a lot less than the DeWalt, which in turn means your bench doesn't need to stick out so far into the, into the shop, so that's the reason. So my setup now will be this permanently in the shop. I've still got a lot of bits and pieces to add to this, um, but this will be permanent. I love my DeWalt saw, so I think I'm going to have to keep it. Um, I'll keep it on the miter stand and use it for, for other things. We'll see how it go. Um, I'll use the Makita for the foreseeable future in the shop and see see how we get on. But first impressions, it's a nice looking saw. There's a couple of little things I don't like about it, is the, the laser being one. Um, it's a pain, but I won't. I'll go through, I think I'll do a comparison between this and the DeWalt um, once I've used it a bit more. Uh, I'll do a separate video on that. Right guys, from this setup here to this setup here, more permanent solution. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it gave you some ideas if you're looking to do this yourself. 
Yeah, as always guys, give the video a like if you can, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, please subscribe if you're new here, and thanks again for watching. As always, all the best, take it easy, cheers.